This tutorial will show you how to download ebooks to your computer and e-reader devices using OverDrive. First, go to your library website. Ours is www.areliapubliclibrary.ca. There's five steps to downloading ebooks using OverDrive. The first step is downloading the free software. The second step is registering that software. The third step is syncing your e-reader to the software. The fourth step is searching and downloading ebooks. And the fifth step is transferring the ebooks to your e-reader device. So let's get started. Now that we're on our library homepage, search for the OverDrive link. Just scroll down and look for Announcing OverDrive. And click on Take Me to OverDrive. Close the ad that comes up. Look on the left for Digital Software and select Adobe Digital Editions for eBooks. We'll select Download Adobe Digital Editions. We're going to select Download Now and select the Install button and press it again and select Yes. Select all of the default options and select Next. Select Install. And now we're just going to wait for the software to download to our computer after which point you're going to select the close button. So step two where I'm going to register my software. We're going to select continue to activate our, our Adobe Digital Editions. And since I'm not already registered with Adobe, I'm going to need to go to their website and get an Adobe ID online. So that will enable us to be able to fill out this information where they're prompting you for an Adobe ID and password. Select create an Adobe account. It's going to ask you to select an email, which is going to be your username and Adobe ID. And select a password that you're going to remember and complete the rest of the form. And once you're done that, select continue. I already have an account. I am just going to type in my Adobe ID and the username that I created. Select activate and just wait for the software to finish activating and click finished. We're going to move on to step three where we want to sync our e-reader. Now I have a Kobo, so what I would do is just plug in my e-reader at this point. What's going to happen is that once I authorize my device and click this button, it's going to show up on the left where it says bookshelves. Now I just select finished. So now we can move on to step four where we actually go and select a book to sign out. If you don't have the web page open anymore where we downloaded Adobe Digital Editions, go to the library website and click on Take Me to OverDrive to sign out a title. Select the Login button and choose Libraries and S and select a really a public library. Type in your library card number and click Sign In. Here you're going to be able to select default lending periods of one week or two weeks, see what ebooks you have signed out and when they're due back, and we're going to do a search now. On the left hand toolbar, you have the option to search by subject in either fiction or nonfiction collections. And we can do an advanced search. This is what we recommend you do. From advanced search, I'm going to select the drop down menu under format and select Adobe EPUB book, or I can select Adobe PDF ebook. Check the box or only show titles with copies available. Once I click search, this will only show the books I'm able to check out right now. I'll scroll through the list until I find one that I'd like to read. And I'm going to select anybody out there and click add to cart. Next, select proceed to checkout and I have the option to choose from a 7-day or 14-day checkout. So I'm going to choose the 2-week option and confirm my checkout. 
I can have a maximum of up to five titles signed out at any given time. So click on the download button and Adobe Digital Editions will automatically open if it's not already open. My document is now downloaded and it opens so that I can read it within Adobe Digital Editions if I'd like to. By clicking on Go to Library View, now I can see all the books that I have signed out. Right now I just have one book signed out. They all show up in this same space in my library. I have this book for 14 days. This banner will keep counting down until my book is due back. I don't need to check the book back in. It actually checks itself back in. And once the due date comes up, the book will actually just stop working on my e-reader. It's important to note that you need to manually delete the e-book from your e-reader once the due date has expired. You also need to manually delete it from Adobe Digital Editions. So just select delete item and then that would delete it from the computer. Now if I finish the book early, I have the option of also returning it so that other users have a chance to read it as well. To add this ebook to my e-reader, so I'm just going to click and drag it onto your e-reading device in the bookshelf and it's just copying over now and that's it. Was that easy? It's now on my e-reader. If you have any further questions after watching this video, contact your library by telephone, email, or by dropping into the library.